Hi there, this is Gary Ryan Blair. In today's lesson, what I want to do is I want to provide you with a few tips and ideas for bouncing back when the world knocks you down. So let's get after it. See, the aim of this post is to provide you with hope, with comfort, and a clear path to the future by answering this one critical question. What is the belief, the attitude, and the psychology that makes one person a hero and gives them the ability to bounce back from the pain and suffering consequences of COVID-19 and which perpetuates ongoing tragedy, failure, and disappointment to another. See, the pandemic has rocked our world and has changed life as we know it. Right now, each one of us are all living some form of Plan B. And many of us are experiencing anxiety, stress, and loneliness at levels never seen before. And for those dealing with hardships like abuse, loss of a loved one, and financial insecurity, this real-life Greek tragedy is even more difficult. It can be quite hard to shake the impression of permanence, too. Because when we're suffering, we tend to project it out indefinitely. However, in deeply uncertain times like these, it's more important than ever to remember that all pain is temporary. And I repeat, all pain is temporary. And that in the end, resilience is the solution to bouncing back and overcoming the damaging effects of COVID-19. Now, this begs the question, what exactly is resilience? Well, resilience or resiliency refers to the ability to cope well with high levels of ongoing disruptive change. It means to bounce back quickly from setbacks and adversities, to change to a new way of working and living when an old pattern is no longer possible, and to do all of this without acting in a dysfunctional or harmful way. See, when resilient people have their lives disrupted or blindsided in any way, they handle their feelings in an intelligent, healthy, and a very mature manner. Resilient people alone know how to organize their suffering so as to only bear the most necessary pain. They allow themselves to feel grief, anger, loss, and confusion when hurt and distressed, but they do not let it become a permanent state of emotional distress. And an unexpected but a profoundly important outcome of adversity is that resilient people not only heal, they often bounce back higher and stronger than before, and that's exactly what I want to show you how to do. So let's talk about the benefits of resiliency. To sustain a good quality of life for yourself and your family, you must understand the benefits and purpose of resiliency. And those with good resiliency skills have a significant competitive advantage over those who feel helpless or who choose to react like stressed out victims. Resilience is without a doubt one of the key fundamental character traits that you need to develop in order to achieve your goals and to unleash your greatness as the road along which we all travel is not as smooth, nor is it an easy one. It's confusing, it's uncertain, and at times it's even a little dangerous. And of course, it's exhilarating, exciting, and it should be full of adventure. The ability to yield gracefully, to move on non-linearly, to give way rather than to resist is essential to flourishing in the work that you do, in the relationships that you're part of, and with the people that you serve. Possessing a resilient mindset does not imply that you're free from stress, pressure, and conflict, but rather that you can successfully cope with problems as they arise. Resiliency is an essential life skill in every area of your life, especially during times of turmoil. See, business, personal, and social environments are often complex, they're dynamic, and sometimes they're quite turbulent, which means that today's success formula can become tomorrow's Achilles heel. Thriving or even surviving in this context requires that everyone embrace resiliency as a career and life skill. Resilient people and organizations are able to sustain competitive advantage through their capability to consistently deliver excellence in performance and in results. Now, it's imperative you accept this truth. When you're hit with life-disrupting events, you'll never be the same again. You'll either cope or crumble, you become better or bitter, you will emerge stronger or weaker. Resilience is accepting your new reality, even if it's less good than the one that you had before. And when faced with life-disrupting events, three possible scenarios quickly present themselves. Number one, you can vigorously deny, fight, and resist it. Two, you can choose to do nothing but whine, moan, complain, and scream about what you've lost. Or three, you can accept your new reality and work to rebuild and put together something that's good and perhaps even better than what you had before. But I assure you this, that eventually you'll come to the understanding that what's behind door number three offers the best hope for getting on with your life. It was the Japanese proverb so beautifully states, the bamboo that bends is stronger than the oak that resists. 
The fact is, life does not get easier or more forgiving. And that is why we must choose to get stronger and much more resilient. And we do that by investing in our own personal root system. See, bamboo takes two or three years to establish its root system, during which time, very little growth happens up top. But once that root system is deeply in place, the growth is absolutely extraordinary. It can shoot up more than 20 meters, or as my friends in the US want nothing to do with the metric system, that is more than 65 feet in less than four months. It's like a rocket ride straight to the sky. And the metaphor is obvious, but it's no less powerful for being so. We can be driving so hard to get things done and living our lives that we miss the importance of investing fully in our psychological root system. See, the cost of that is being fragile. It's being highly vulnerable, less solid, and not as well grounded. The challenge for each one of us is that our root system is often the less sexy part of what we do. It's systems, it's beliefs, it's paradigms, relationships, and processes. It's also a clarity about who we are, about what we do, and what we're focusing upon, what really matters. Self-confidence, self-esteem, and self-concept are the three essential strengths that control your access to higher level resiliency abilities. They also play a large part of a root system which must be developed and it must be constantly nurtured. And if they are healthy and strong, they will allow you to develop a wide range of talents, abilities, and skills that blossom. However, if they're weak or you do not work at developing them, they will undermine you and they will make you vulnerable. See, weaknesses that were not obvious and safe, protected environments will become much more pronounced in unstable, stressful environments like we're experiencing right now. Resiliency is a sustainable inner power that will effectively help you to confidently and to calmly handle change, challenge, and adversity. And learning to be resilient will also allow you to experience more peace and joy throughout your life while creating the positive conditions that will support you in achieving your goals and dreams. You see, each one of us lives in a constantly changing, dynamic environment. And we can make our lives difficult by denying, by resisting, or even fighting against the ongoing process of change. Or we can choose to adapt and to flow with the changes by being flexible and resilient. Because in the end, it's all a choice. No matter how you define success, you will need to be resilient and limber in order to get there. And that is why your challenge in overcoming the impact of COVID is not in falling but it is rising and bouncing back higher than you were before. You can and you must develop this mindset, and that is that nothing will ever defeat you, and that while you may run into temporary roadblocks, that you will view each one as merely a nuisance, as a tiny speed bump on the path towards your much bigger goals.